you're watching the free version of Silhouette Essentials. For projects and footage, head to BorisFX.com for the premium download. And we'll make a keyframe at the end of our tracking data here, because if we don't make a keyframe here, then if we make keyframes after that, then the animation will be kind of messed up in between this keyframe and keyframes um, in the beginning. So I'm just going to make one keyframe here. And go all the way to the beginning of the shot. Zoom out a little bit, press the transform tool. W for rotate, set my pivot. And go out of the rotate mode and now I'm just using the arrow keys to nudge my shape into place before I have to do more point editing. Click R for point edit and quickly move these points into place. And then I can use Alt Z and Alt X to go in between my existing keyframes. Another way to select points is if I want a group of points, I can select one point then shift click the range and then those are just selected. It's one way to avoid using the lasso tool or the marquee selection tool. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to leave the stabilization mode, set that to none. And now we can work on the shin. So I'm not going to use any tracking for the shin. It might just be too much work for any payoff. So I'm going to lock this BG leg upper and I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to draw my shin shape in here. I have to decide do I want it at the beginning or the end and I'm going to make it at the end but I'm going to make my shape longer because I know that I'm going to see more of the leg at the beginning of the shot. And I want to make sure that my shapes are overlapping and that there are no holes in between the shapes when they overlap. And that looks good. So let's see what happens as we move back to the beginning of the shot. I'm probably going to start making some keyframes before going all the way to the beginning. And this time I'm going to use point groups to help me out. It's great because you can select a group of points and make them into a group. So for example, I'm going to select this side here. Let's click that point there and then shift click here. And there's two ways to make a point group. You can either right click and group and select one. That's your first point group. Or you can also shift alt one after your points are selected. So for this side, I'll select these points here all the way down to this side and then shift alt two actually because that will be our second point group. What I love about point groups is that when I know I'm going to be editing the same different sets of points over and over, I have this go-to technique which makes rotoing a lot faster. So let's just select this screen right group here and that was the first group I made. So that is alt one and now you can see that the control points are highlighted green. And just as an FYI, you can also edit in the magnetic mode here. So if I click on the reshape icon and I'm in the magnetic mode, I can edit my points that way as well. However, uh, you cannot do this with the brush reshape because once if you're in brush reshape and whenever the radius is over points, they're selected, but then when they're moved away, they're not selected. So just stay in regular reshape mode or magnetic. And we'll start the editing process again. So Alt-1. Move those points with the arrows. And Alt-2. 
And now you can see the screen left group is selected. I'm going to go into the magnetic reshape. And then we'll go in between for some keyframes. Alt X to go in between. Alt 1, just use my arrow keys. And Alt Z, it's still selected. And so on. We want to move the whole shape, we just choose the transform tool. And then we just have the screen right side here chosen. Put down our pivot and rotate that way and then use the arrow keys. So Silhouette has an amazing set of editing tools. And then we'll just head to the beginning of the shot. Move our entire shape, line it up, rotate it as a whole. There we go. Make sure it's all selected. And just a few more keyframes. Alt 1 for that screen right side, that point group. And then Alt X to go in and check the in-betweens. For a shape that doesn't have any tracking, I can still finish the roto pretty fast using these tools. And also to note here, you can change the colors of your point groups. I'll open the preferences. And here are point group colors, and you can edit those to however you like. And when you're all done, you can just right click here, groups, and reset all. And now you can continue on.